Good evening, time now for sports. The ball started rolling in the CIFA Premier League last night as some of our more experienced teams showed off some amazing goal-scoring fans. We start at the Annex where Premier League leaders Elite in the blue face future. Gabriel Goodet was the first one on target with this magical goal, giving Elite the 1-0 lead at the break. The fans were happy with that one. There's a second look at Gabriel Goodet's goal to start the ball rolling for coach Greggy Banks' his men and they push on for a 3-1 victory over future. We need to keep the margin away from the, the teams that are trailing from um, behind us. We now um, leading the lead with um, nine points and in essence uh, to maintain, maintain good standing. Greggy Banks there from Elite. In other results, Georgetown went one goal better than Elite by beating Roma 4-1. Justin Pierre, he got a hat-trick. His hat-trick was one of three on the day. Eric Brown hit a hat-trick as well for Scholars International in their 4-1 victory over East End. Those matches were played in East End yesterday. And Jerome Graham also had a triple strike for Bodentown over Tigers in their 4-1 route. Not a bad start to the new year for the Premier League teams with 19 goals being scored in their opening matchups. From football, we move to some netball news this evening. We're also in action Saturday night with the Open League season opener. Two exciting games. One of those matchups was a close tussle between two rival teams, while the other was an easy win for an A team. Here are the highlights. The lights were fired up on the Truman Bottom Courts. And the players were fired up as well in this game between Roma B in the yellow and the All-Stars. Roma! Get somebody! Get somebody! In front of a noisy crowd, Roma jump out to an early lead. Before the All-Stars battle back in the second evening the score. Roma's coach Stacey Ann Duhaney sent the pressure and in the final quarter, Roma pull away 20 to 14 wins. It's very important for us to win this, this game. I've seen them grow in terms of their skill level and in terms of their confidence. So it really, really is gratifying to watch them play. Obstruction there. Referee Molly Ann Moore sent Rising Stars A and Unity B on their way. Rising Stars show their experience to win this matchup 38 to 15, setting their season off on the right foot. This is a good test as to what it is that they've been working towards. So, so far they're doing excellent and they're gonna continue the season like that. The netball season really swings into high gear this weekend with some of the hot teams like the All-Stars A-Team will be in action.